Yo, what is up? It is me, Prizzy or Patrick, back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. And uh, for today's video, guys, I'm going to be showcasing the new Battle Pass and the new things that came with the new uh, season. So pretty much, the new Battle Pass, you get it. Um, it's 1,000 card points, I believe. Wait a second. What the hell is going on? Oh, I think, I think, okay. So if, if you got like max tiers in the previous season, you get X3 extra. But uh, anyways, uh, when you get the battle pass, you get Captain Price, this other guy, um, and other stuff as well. And the battle pass is pretty cool, right? You have this new knife, um, um, an MP7 skin, and uh, you have the Dictator, you have James Harden, um, you have a spray paint, you have the new gun, the Vector, right? You have a new animation, then you have the Galil. This season pass is actually pretty cool. You have, wow, what is this? The mini map on your wrist, bro? What? Wait, I've actually... Yo, that's sick. Yo, wait, that's nice. Right here, you have a new uh, skin for the van. Right, you have a bald eagle on there. It's like a hippie van. It looks like a hippie van, honestly. But um, anyways, next, you have a new skin. Um, so you have really, you get really cool skins. Um, this this uh, battle pass. I mean, new wristwatches like that one back over there. I sh I, I just went through the the mini map one on your wrist. That's that was pretty. That, that's really nice. That would be really good uh, during gameplay. Um, where is it out here? They have new skins, they have new gun skins. Um, you also get there's a vector skin in here too, and also um, a new Galil skin, a Galil skin for the new gun, um, sniper skin. Um, we have a cigar as a charm, and uh, here's a vector skin. This is pretty cool. All right, it's, it's all gray, silver fox, and then you have the Iskra skin. This skin is nice. Like she has scissors on her, bro. Next, you have a Rolex. All right. Or a Patek. Oh, okay. Um, have an action figure, and then the last tier you get uh, Nightfall NVG Price skin, Captain Price skin, and then this is the Galil skin that I was talking about. And you get a golden green, a green bright skin for the a uh, vehicle for Warzone and a uh, season four emblem that everyone's been getting if you complete the season, uh, the battle pass. So um, that is that for the battle pass. Overall, in my opinion, I I just all battle passes have been really good all right so now for the game mode they have the new scrapyard 24 7 trench marsh pit um which is a new map walls of rumble which is a kind of a new map ish uh, where you play tdm within verdansk um areas around it not the whole map of course that would be like a ground war map um and then next gunfight blueprints which is pretty much uh gunfight when you uh, you only use the gun blueprints which is pretty that it speaks for itself it speaks for itself and that's pretty cool kind of sad there's no shipment anymore no shooting house because i usually play those to unlock or uh, level my guns up but they'll eventually add it in the future so i don't really i don't really mind they also added these new tabs within the guns which is the challenges and the store these challenges are associated with the uh camos you have for the guns so i have the um, growl gold so if I have 500 kills or if I get 500 kills uh, with a gold gun um, I get this um, calling card which is pretty cool and same thing with Damascus uh, platinum and also obsidian I forgot about obsidian I don't know why I forgot about it but um, so it's right here so platinum right there you get that calling card um, which is pretty cool I like it it's nice I like it I like how they're in including more challenges and of course you get XP with it too so it helps you level up more which is pretty pretty nice and you also have this right here emblems which is really really cool i like how they keep adding these awesome calling cards and emblems and uh, like i said earlier this year is one of the best um call of duties with when it comes to emblems and calling cards it's the animations the graphics have been really really cool and uh, they're nice they're good to go they're very good to go for they're, they're fun to go for i don't know why i was saying very good they're fun to go for they also have the store tab, which is pretty much just variants or, um, yeah, variants of the guns that you don't have. So I have these two right here. Obviously, you get this one and within um, the season pass or during the season four because it just came out this season. And this is from season three. And then uh, obviously, and if you have these already, they won't be on here. They'll be in your gunsmith. Um, that'll be there so like i don't have i don't have all of it for the mp7 as well you can go through it they're highlighted in gold or yellow they're right here so for the mp7 or mp5 sorry i don't have the strapped one so that's pretty cool they added that feature right there all right so now we're at charlie intel so pretty much this website right here if you don't know what charlie intel is i have no idea who it is or what website this is uh pretty much 
Um, this is where you get the latest content of what is new within every update of Call of Duty. Um, they've been doing this for years and they're a very credible source. I'm going to show you guys what's new within Warzone. So let's get into it. Um, I've showed you guys this already, the new guns, the Fennec, um, which, is, which is the um, Vector and then the AMAX, which is pretty much the Galil and then yeah, I've already said this, I've already showed you guys this, but also new modes are coming within the season or during the season, which is one in a chamber, which is super fun. One of my, f this is actually one, not one of, but my favorite game mode or party game mode to play, especially with friends. Uh, I think it first came out in Black Ops 1, I'm not sure. Uh, if I'm wrong, com comment down below if I'm wrong, let me know what the right answer is. But uh, they're also coming with Team Defender and All or Nothing, which is fun. These are all really good game modes. So now for the Warzone guys, I'm going to be showcasing the new features right here. There's four new features and new modes. So um, I kind of saw these uh, new features at Twitter, but not not as much. I didn't really read through them. But uh, first one here is the Fire Cell, which temporarily discounts items uh, in the buy station up to 80% or gives one item completely free. Um, if teams in-game funds are low, fallen teammates redeploy for free. Um, I like this a lot um it adds a lot of um variety within gameplay uh it's it's really it's 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 fun um especially if you have no money like it says right here like if your team funds are low so pretty much like if you have like a hundred bucks like you're broke even zero like obviously like zero bucks is the lowest you have no money if i have like one of my friends down they can redeploy for free that's that's cool that's fun i, I i'll take that any day if i if i can have that for my teammates or even especially for myself you know if i'm down I'm, and i can get back for free and my teammates have no money you know that's that's a good feature but um i like it i like it a lot so um next we have jailbreak all eliminated players are given a second chance and released back into the match regardless if they are spectators or waiting in the gulag which honestly i don't know how to feel about this because um it kind of makes the gulag um like not a, it's still gonna be in the game obviously people are gonna go there you're gonna go there if you die but people are gonna not they're not gonna try as much you know like i don't know that's just my opinion like um you could get in right regardless if they are spectators or waiting in the gulag like I don't know like obviously it's cool like you're gonna get back into the match for free but the game is gonna be a lot longer um especially if it's a slow ass game it's gonna be a lot longer i want to be surprised if the games are gonna be like 40 to 50 minutes long like it's so long now like it's gonna be i don't know um i don't really i don't mind it like obviously getting back into the match is what everyone wants and it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. <laughs> uh, next is the supply chopper. Um, Non-lethal choppers with high quality gear fly around a map for players to bring down. That's that's really nice. That's I like this a lot. I really like this. I pretty much probably get like armor plates. Um, self revive maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like it says high quality gear. So so I like that. Supply chopper is a big big thumbs up. I like this. Um, and then last feat, last new feature is the contraband contract. Um, so whenever a contract is completed, there is a small chance that a contraband, contraband, sorry, contract is dropped. Um, collect this case and bring it to the designated helicopter extraction zone to unlock the blueprint weapon for you and your team in your loadout. So that's fun. I like it. That's also a really good feature. Another good contract that they added into the game. And then um, two new modes right here uh there's a new mode warzone rumble ltm so 50 v 50 comes back that's fun it's always been fun in um, fortnite but i'm not sure if it's gonna um, affect your kd ratio um because i believe in um fortnite it didn't so if you play 50 v 50 in fortnite it didn't matter your kd didn't really get affected but i'm not sure about warzone doesn't really say here and then uh new modes coming during the season which is uh, Juggernaut Royale, which is, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. That sounds crazy. And uh, Realism Warzone. So yeah, that is that for the the content now, guys. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like these type of videos, uh, if you want to show support, please leave a like. And also subscribe if you are new and uh, want to stay tuned for more videos. I 
Um, I have not, I'm not trying to upload a lot more, but I have been streaming or I like to stream a lot more than upload videos. So if you don't follow my Twitch yet, it'll be down in the description or it's at twitch.tv slash prizzy204. Um, I, I pretty much stream obviously Call of Duty and I also stream Minecraft, GTA and all those other games as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, please leave a like, subscribe and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.